Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today we're going to install these LED headlights into this CX-9 Mazda. I'm going to briefly show you guys how they're installed because they're very simple, and then we're going to do a little bit of review. We're going to see what I like and dislike about them, and also how they perform. Okay, first thing we're going to need to do is untwist the cap in the back. Um, I have a dome cap, so that's going to play into clearances, and we're going to talk about that briefly here in a second. Take out your light bulb, twist it out, and undo the lead. Okay, now that we have both lights out, we're going to go briefly go over what I like and dislike about them. The first being that clearance-wise, the halogen comes out, does a 90 degree, and the plug plugs in the bottom. With the LED, you have this huge heat sink on the back and the cord comes out of the back. This is gonna be the biggest problem for most of you guys is clearances with this heat sink. I'll do a little close up here so you guys can see the difference with them. You can see that with the LED, it is about a half inch to three quarters bigger in the heat sink area where it is compared to the halogen. So I think that's gonna be the biggest problem with this. Um, I did see a review where a guy screwed it into his housing and the heat sink on the edge was just angled weird or I don't know what was the deal, but he couldn't get his cap back on because this was hitting the side where, the edge where his cap screwed on. So as far as fitting issues, it's the heat sink that's gonna be the problem with you guys. Um, this cord does fold down in the back pretty well, but it still adds a little bit of room that you have to go around. So if you guys have dome caps, I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, if you have a flush cap that's flat, that's where you might get into some issues with the clearances in the back. Now let's go over some things I do like about this. This entire thing is aluminum. The housing that the diode set in is aluminum. The tabs where it screws into your housing are aluminum, and this entire heat sink is aluminum. So that's really great. Now this O-ring is a lot larger than the stock halogen bulb. So you're gonna have to push it in a little bit more, but it's very supple, so it's gonna give you a better seal. So that's the biggest issue is clearances. Other than that, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality on this. It just feels really good. Um, it's solid, so we'll go ahead and throw this LED in. The biggest thing to note with these is actually how they install for me. The beam tech will sit flush when it's in properly. It's canted off to the left side, so I put it in, turn it clockwise, and this should be flush up top. So as you can see here, right on the top, we uh, are close with our clearances, but I really don't have a problem, especially with twisting it in. You can see that this wire here in the back is pretty close to where our cap would sit flush. But since we have the dome cap, there's really not a problem with that. But if you did have one that was more flush, you may have an issue with this wire sticking out of the back. So we'll go ahead and put our dome cap back on. And that's pretty much it. Um, it was a little tricky trying to get that set where it's supposed to go in with that added uh, thickness of the O-ring. So you may have to play around with that a little bit. That is probably the biggest hassle of this. It's literally a plug and play. Twist it in, plug it in, and you're done. It's the same thing as a halogen. It's not like an HID where you have a power pack. Um, or anything like that where you have to hide that and tuck it in somewhere. Uh, there's plenty of space in there for that wire in my housing. If you have a really tight housing with a compact car that might be an issue or to stick that extra wiring but I don't think you guys are going to have a problem with that. So let's fast forward to nighttime. We'll take some pictures and I'll briefly explain what the light pattern is doing and what I like and dislike about it. 
Okay, so here are some pictures that I took at night. There are two groups, one from the perspective of the driver and one overhead. One thing to note with these pictures are they are in raw format. They are not edited in any way. And I will show you guys the exposures and ISO that I use for each picture group because they're the same across each picture. Okay, so to start with, here is your halogen on the left and your LED on the right. The first thing to note is that the halogen has a really bright hot spot out front and you can see that there is very little overspill on the left. Now with the LED, you get more of an even beam pattern and you get a lot of light spill on the sides and also for the roadway. So here is with just the LED, you can really notice the sides and also how even it is across the front. And you also get this nice light spill onto the road and even onto the left side. So with the halogen, you get this really bright spot out front, very little light spill on the left side, and virtually none onto the right, and you don't get an even beam pattern with the halogen. So here's a top-down view with the halogen on the left, LED on the right, and you really can notice how much light spill you get on the edges. It doesn't look as bright from this perspective up front, especially against that bright hot spot, but notice over here, where you have light from the LED, you don't get it from the halogen at all, especially with the light spill. So here is just the halogen. You can see that hot spot. Almost nothing on the left-hand side and definitely nothing on the right. But with this LED, it lights up the whole road. You even get some on the left and especially on the right. So with these two bulbs, um, I really like the color of the LED. It's the 6500 Kelvin color temperature. I like the nice crisp white to bluish light to it. Um, you don't get too much of the blue tint, but it's almost that perfect daylight. Whereas the halogen is really dingy yellow and you get that hot spot. I don't really care for that. I do like how this coverage is with the light that really surprised me. I thought it was going to be more like this. And I don't care for the light spill from the halogen. Um, so I give this a thumbs up. Uh, was it really what I expected for brightness? Uh, I thought it would be a little bit more. But I can't complain. I don't think it's what they advertise. But it is, I believe, definitely brighter than the halogen. Um, because it gives you a more even light over everything. Instead of just this little hot spot and no light spill. So I'm happy with the LEDs. They fit well. I didn't have any clearance issues with them. They're nice and bright and they give an excellent beam pattern. I'm really impressed with that. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about these if you have them installed in your own car and uh, what you like and dislike about them. So throw those comments in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY, subscribe, and uh, look for more videos, guys. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time.